Hello, this is Matt from Maker's Empire. I was going to give you a quick tour of our updated uh, class import function using a CSV file. Uh, this is by far the fastest way to update uh, your class lists uh, rather than going through and moving students one by one uh, during the school year rollover. Uh, this will save you a, a lot of time if you've got multiple classes. Firstly, we'll just go to class management, click on classes to see our current class lists. In this demo account, I'm going to start by modifying class 2. At the moment, there's uh, 24 students in demo class 2. Uh, they're all in the kindergarten to year 2 curriculum level. Now let's say it's the end of the year, moving into the, the new school year, and these kids are going from year 2 to year 3, and they're going to be split up into different classes for the new year. I'll go to CSV import, which is accessed through that uh, drop-down you just saw. Firstly, I need to download the CSV template. And here is a new one. Now, the most important thing I need to note at this point is do not change the headings in row one. Uh, if you change any of these words, uh, your CSV import won't work. So let's close that one and open up my existing class list. As you can see here, I've got my 24 students in demo class two. Uh, they're all in grade two. Let's say, okay, now they're all going into grade three this year. Let's cut and paste that. Let's say, just to keep it simple, the first half of the class are going into, from uh, going from class two to class three, Stay Alfie through to Letitia, and then Ling through to Xavier, we'll say, are going to class four next year. I can also add new students at the same time while I'm doing this. Uh, let's say Bobby Bananas is also going to be joining class four, same teacher. Bobby B, and he can have the same password as everyone else. If you can't be bothered thinking of a password for each student, uh, you can just leave this column blank and we'll just generate a password and you can download the list later to tell the students. But for now, let's just save this as demo class three, four. Let's go back to this CSV import page find my new class list, demo class 3-4. There are a few options here. Most of the time you would probably want to uh, select all of these. I want to automatically move students to new classes, uh, automatically update their passwords, uh, match students by first and last names. That just helps out if you haven't got a username yet, if we'll try to just recognize the students uh, by their real name, uh, which works fine unless you have students with the same name, which when you start getting into your Matt Smiths or uh, Ling Nguyen's, it can be you know, you know, common names, uh, it's not going to work very well, but most of the time this will help you out a lot. Okay, I'll update my, upload my CSV file now. I can see here I've now got a class list for class 3 and class 4. I can download this PDF right now and that will have a list of every username and password on it. Very handy, good thing to print out and give these to your students. Well, hopefully this will save you a lot of time with like the miss miss, I forgot my password, etc. There's a little, a little sort of confirmation here. Demo class three has been updated. Demo class four has been updated, excellent. As intended, Alfred through to Letitia are now in demo class three, and Ling through to Xavier are now in demo class four, and a new user, Bobby Bananas, has been added, has been added, sorry, to demo class four. Also, so as you can see, that was pretty fast. Let me just uh, go back, and we'll confirm that that has indeed worked. There we are, demo class two now has no students. Demo class three has added a bunch. And demo class four, uh, you'll also notice 
the curriculum level has been automatically upgraded because I changed the grade level in that last column. So you can use a one CSV file for your entire school, or you can do it class by class, really just depends on your preference. Um, the final note on technical note is just make sure that when you do save this file, save it as a CSV file. Uh, Excel format or numbers format won't work. So as long as you don't change that top row, leave the headings as they are, make sure you save it as a CSV file. This should save you a whole bunch of time, uh, organize your classes and have everything tidy for the new school year.